So, Rick, how's your bum all feeling? <laughs> Good evening and welcome to episode 16 of Endless Banter. Rick's just left us. Chris is in the house. <laughs> and as you can see, there's no Paul this week. Paul is feeling under, a little bit under the weather. He might join us a little bit later on. Uh, he might change his mind when, once I start showing off designs and he doesn't get to say about it. <laughs> so two special guests in the house. Well, currently one who's currently building. Oh, and sorry, sorry for running late. Sorry for running late. <laughs> and there's no, your, so I was, I was, Tom just asked me how to get a pencil out of his ass because it's gone right up and I, uh, I had to Google it for him. <laughs> he had to go and look, flick through the family album, didn't he, Rick? <laughs> I knew this happened. I know this happened once. <laughs> oh, dear. So we have two special guests on tonight. Good evening, Rick. Is that? <laughs> That's you, I think. Hi, guys. <laughs> and we have good old Mr. Chris JB. Hi, uh. <laughs> I've actually come in fancy dress tonight as Max. <laughs> uh, hey, Paul. Buy some new shoes. Buy some new shoes. <laughs> nah, I, thought, I thought if I come dressed like this, I might be able to convince Paul to like buy me a car or something. He's convinced <laughs> him to buy them fucking boosts, isn't he? Go Max ahead. never got that fat, to be fair. <laughs> oh. I can... did actually ring Paul and I was like, fucking hell, what time we setting sail in them shoes? Because they look fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, it looks like he's cur he's, he's cur curb stomped Thanos and then put his pin on it. I just watched a video on Facebook with uh, shoes with hydraulics on the tongue to actually. That actually looks down. quite cool. That that <laughs> that's like essentially just Robin Back to the Future's ideas. Not really. <laughs> it is Back what to the Future was an auto lace. This is hydraulics that come down. It's essentially the same thing. The hydraulics pull it in the same way if hydraulics would, or some sort of electronics would have wound the laces in. Fuck. I don't know. Let Tom do his well, show. Well, some lazy bastard doesn't even need to take the shoes off anymore. Is that what you're telling me? Welcome to Endless Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten how to well, We'll start off with tradition. I think I stole this idea maybe from the top UK. Rick, what have you had for tea? How's your week so far? What are you drinking? What about for tea? It's good we do this on Wednesday because they taught you to be on a Tuesday. It's like, how's your week so far? <laughs> oh, we, we, I think we stopped. I think we forgot how to. Uh, I think we stopped caring about each other's weeks. So we're yeah. just going straight in with what you've vapor on your cunt. It's all the same. Uh, what about for tea? I had Stovies. Ooh, yeah. Man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's that? What's that? Because you two are sort of in a different country. It's and... like um, it's like corned beef hash, but with um, square sausage rather than the corned beef. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where, what gypsy stovies are you fucking eating? I'm eating the gypsy oh, ones. My fucking my gypsy no. wife makes. Oh, <laughs> no. Real stovies are made with like um, like steak or beef. And it's like, you know where you get like pulled pork? You cook it that long, it melts. That's what you do with this. You, you slow cook a, a joint of beef and then you string it and then you put it through mashed potato. Oh. <laughs> Not, not in Denny, mate. Not in Denny. Yeah, yeah. They, they replaced fillet steak with fucking square sausage. So the two lads that are from the most south of the country are discussing Scottish. The meals. most south. That's weird. Yeah. I'm the most from... south. Oh, oh, the, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. I get what you mean. The, the two lads from England are discussing Scottish <laughs> cuisine. Yeah, yeah. I live in well, Scotland. This end of our fucking when you was originally fucking born, Barry. Yeah? Not so you good. Oh, Betty, get me a hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it leads. I know. Do you find yourself <laughs> ordering a tenant yet, Rick? Uh, I didn't know, Betty. We're every, going down your way. I don't know. Every now and then. Every now and then. Tenants. I'm fucking. Are you hating it when I moved up here? And then you get so used to it being the only fucking beer that anyone has on tap. Then you're just like, oh, I'll have a tenant to make. And then you start looking for it when you go down to England. At Expo, I'm like, where's the tenant? I'm like, no one drinks that piss down here. But they <laughs> no, drink I, don't, beer. I don't want to look like a cunt, mate. So I, I drink Brewdog to look like an even bigger cunt. Well, there is that. I actually have shares in Brewdog. Oh, you didn't fall for that. I did. Equity for punks. Hey, I get, I get, I haven't got anything out of it. Actually. Yeah, you've got no <laughs> benefits at all. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I could, I could get a pound on my forty-five. Oh, if you if you invest five and a half thousand pounds, they'll send you a crate of twenty-four beers on your birthday. Oh, fuck, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> For five grand. 
five <laughs> bags, mate. <laughs> what the fuck? I just want it for the card. It's an expensive card right enough, but I, I just want it. Where's the card? Do. You can at least show us this card. Oh, I see my wallet. Hang on. In fact, I got two of them. Let's have a look at these cards. So what did this yeah. card cost you? 45 quid? Just my um, I've actually got two of them. Yeah. To be fair, I was looking at getting or getting a friend ordained for my wedding, and accidentally got myself ordained. And I can. Uh, hold on, I'm going to put you on full screen so I can. You look like a right fucking <laughs> criminal. <laughs> <laughs> two so of them. What's the card? What I don't get what the card is. It was it was an ID. <laughs> that's your uh, fake <laughs> shareholders card. That's, that's, what, <laughs> that's that's what got him out of in and out of the washrooms at Balveni. God, you don't have ID when you're in prison. You have an ID number. God, get it right. Anyway, Sorry, how's my week been? Yeah, been all right. Been all right. What am I vaping on? Um, I am vaping on currently the only stockist in Scotland that savour. My my Nautilus is dead because of this. Excuse me. What? Because you, you because you obviously prefer that to. Yeah, mouth, mouth to lung wise, and I've not tried the subbone post in it yet because mouth to lung is pretty much all I do these days. Subbone posts. You you basically the the negative post. Yeah. Um, you can swap those out for a bigger air hole that comes up. Ah, oh. oh, nice. Yeah, I wanted to get one, but to be honest, uh, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was going to be some sort of justification there, but there isn't. Fair enough. fair enough. That was the same as mine. No, we, we ordered a batch from China to... Because uh, it's uh, Richard Vick, V1CK, and Free C Vape that have done it. Oh, so you, oh, I thought you meant that like, you'd ordered clones of it. I'm like, what? No, 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 no. But is it bought directly? Do you have to buy it directly from China, or is this like uh, at, in the, at the moment? I know, I'm sure Richard's um, investigating into wholesalers in this country. Ah. You know, it's been quite a nice little storm through, which is really good for Rich because he's a good guy. Mate, oh, rave, I love Rich. Rave reviews as well. Rave reviews, and it, well deserved. To be honest, the Pandora got rave reviews. Where's that now? <laughs> I like the honesty, Chris. I fucking love the honesty. Uh, <laughs> such is life, my friend. Where is mine's in the shop? You what, Pandora? You still got? You still keep my my, my my yeah, mine is still in the shop. Um, I use it for bad examples of RDAs to customers. <laughs> like you've got any customers, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> No, not with that bad boy shop you've just had. You've got down by your bus station. Damn. <laughs> that was funny. That shop was funny. That Chris was... carried his lunchbox there, though, because he couldn't go without a snack. Uh, I, I, fuck you. Right. <laughs> Actually, you were the first person to tell me you loved the Pandora, so you can shut your mouth. I did. I did actually enjoy it. Um, I'm just. For some strange reason, I've been stepping away from, like, s not really sub -own because I still squonk, but, like, like mechs, and they, they've had, they've they've gone their revolution, and they are going to come back very soon, because they've died off quite a bit. We know that. They best come back. <laughs> they best come back, yeah. Um, I, 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 I have faith the, uh, Neglecting mechs, I just think, sort of, there's been a, a hype in other devices. I don't think there's been sort of a lull. <clears> just think there's, there's the been a massive surge in squonkers, yeah. massive surge. But you know, people get fed up with that and they go over to Mexican. It's. I thought you said they'll go over to Mexicans. I'm like, what? yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. And what? Nothing, mate. Um, yeah, so the week the week's been all right. Um, was inquiring to a new premises today, so shop number three could be on its way. Okay, now. Doing all right with shops then, aren't you? Well, I'm just trying to get them all in before the vaping industry goes on its ass. <laughs> <laughs> what does I think? Do I think that's why the vaping industry's gone on its ass because everyone's trying to make their money really quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Boom, just boom, 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 boom. Just trying to ram it in before you know, goes tits up. <laughs> well, basically, if I get if I get like ten shops open, myself and my business partner, we can then just sort of sit on our ass and and. Obviously, have a, a 
a, a voice in the company, but let, let other people do the do the running around. Are you not and, close enough to call him daddy yet? No, no, not yet. <laughs> no. And then uh and then if vaping in the street just got its ass, we'll just buy shitloads of sex toys from China and just have just a buy, chain of sex shops. Uh, just buy a shitload of shares in Brewdog. I just sex shops, lots of sex shops. Sex sales, you're never gonna lose money in sex. Unless you know maybe <laughs> You haven't seen some of the birds around here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surefire way to fuck up an investment. <laughs> yeah. So is this the first property you've looked up for the new shop then, or is it um uh, it's, it's it's one we saw it's one we saw the last time. Um but we picked obviously picked Kill Scythe um because there's some tape with the council and stuff like that. It, it's it's a longer lead time towards um pushing forward with the contract and solicitors and stuff like that. It normally takes about a month and a half, two months with the council, whereas private letting, you can pretty much get a contract written up and do it next day. Yeah. So we're, we're getting in early, getting the ball rolling on that. Got to be done. Yeah, yeah. My, my little empire. Never mind. It's lasted longer than a year, which is longer than Chris's Pandora. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sure that was five months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, Chris. So, Christopher, well, I know you're busy, and I know you're going to show us something later. But uh, what you've been through, what you've had for tea, what have you? What sorry, what have you had? For, what have you had for tea? And how's with me so far? What are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking uh, Pepsi Max. Maximum taste, zero sugar. Not sell multi packs. So you got that from a corner shop. Is that right? <laughs> no, I got that from a multi pack. <laughs> Iceland, Iceland. I don't go to Iceland, but they do three packs of twenty four for like fourteen quid. So, but they're the ones you can sell legally, two for a quid. <laughs> so you can make a uh, about eight quid if you play cards, right? Mm. <coughs> uh, for tea, I had. Well, I, I was going to have Chinese. The missus was like, "Oh, I'll have." Um, We'll get a pot of rib sauce. And I said, well, I'll get <laughs> nutritious. <laughs> so I said, I'll get some, I'll get, no, a pot of rib sauce to dip our chips in. So I asked for salt and pepper ribs. They come dry. I thought, oh, I'll just pour some of the sauce on it. I was on the fucking phone. I come in. She's poured all the sauce all over her chips and left me with dry ribs and dry noodles. <laughs> That's all right. Like, it's the oil on the salt, the salt and pepper, which is nice. Uh, like an oil. Well, I didn't. Kind, I, kind I, of the I, oil that you vape. I ate it a little bit, but then once you, you know, once you're about three or four mouthfuls into the sawdust, and then you're like, oh, I'm not that hungry anymore, to be honest. I, I always like salt and pepper squid. That was lovely. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck could the bunny is? Because he's a bun. How's your week been so far, then, Christopher? Huh? How's your week been so far? It's been bearable. Is that is that loud? <laughs> <laughs> it's been all right yeah it's not too bad just uh doing a lot of uh discussing still waiting to pull for paul to call me back from um monday <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no it's, it's all right yeah it's been all right um vaping on billet box 45 milligram nick salts as per usual and i've got um something a little special in my other hand my penis? No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's not the Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check this big beast out. Look at that. Ooh. What's that? We'll let Chris vape on that, and we'll get into that in a little bit later on. I want Chris to have his moment. Uh, show me that emblem on it. Okay, okay. I thought it was a cross from it. Now I thought it was like the Sir Lancelot or whatever it was that they had. Those no, that, that is a chaos symbol. A chaos symbol. Yes, it signifies chaos. We we'll get into that later on. Well, boys, we've got a couple of subjects I want to discuss. No, wait evening. a minute. What are you vaping on? How's your week been? Hell? What, what do you have for dinner? I have and been... what's the most obscure object you've had in your bum? Uh, I don't think I've ever had an obscure object in my bum. You never had a doctor's finger? Maybe a finger, yeah, maybe a finger. <laughs> I do. 
The doctor wonders why I get my prostate checked twice a week. <laughs> yeah, it's not even mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just go back out of Chris and his commando art? <laughs> what? What, what are you on about? Never mind. So, uh, what am I vaping? I'm vaping on the Emperor and I'm vaping on Passionara. And I've also Could got. You're not the 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 I don't even know what this device is called. Some Joy Tech device. With some nick salts in it keep away from them stinkies my week's been all right can't complain and I had spicy rice for tea spicy rice you don't like spice though i do like i love spice no you don't we love food I, I, I do like spice <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's you that didn't couldn't do spice no, I, I don't i don't mind spicy food i have spicy rice uncle ben's special spicy rice Two minutes in the microwave. Well, that's, <laughs> not, that's not spicy. That's not that, spicy. Yeah. Don't mention Uncle Ben's, especially after Infinity War. <laughs> well, I'm going for that. What, well, Uncle Ben's? Infinity. That's what I'm going for, Uncle Ben's spicy rice. Because I, I can't your, cook rice. That's your Minecraft YouTube channel as well, isn't it, my Uncle Ben's? Fuck off, Uncle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so, fuck it. Let's get another first subject. The first subject is, have you got any vape mates? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that earlier. I, I got a few, yeah. yeah. So, some of you two obviously have seen the video that's gone out yesterday of, is it? Is it Aaron Crasco. Crasco, yeah. Aaron Crasco. That's how you say it. And then... Um, what did you call him? Crasco? 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 Crasco. The new one. Carrasco rule? I don't know his fucking... Anyways, very sort of Facebook, Instagram, very popular comedian, did a video saying... Um, well, 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 <laughs> a very popular content creator. <laughs> and he's, if you've not seen it, he's literally doing what a lot of us you know, vapors do, when they take a vape, when they blow it across the face, his uh, friend's face, um, and people get absolutely pissed off about it. So, boys, what did you actually think to the video? And the reason I'm asking you is because I just want to mention the comments that was actually put on it. So, what did you guys take from the video? Did you think it was funny? Because I thought it was fucking. I, I, yeah, I, I thought it was amusing. I don't find that guy particularly funny. I don't um, know. I used to think he was really funny, and then he got really popular. The best one, he used to go into his like local fucking supermarket and follow the same members of staff around every week. Just recording them from the aisles, like rolling tangerines at them and <laughs> making them jump while they're stacking shelves. That was funny. And then he just started doing all this mass media stuff and he kind of went downhill. But I don't know, it's very relevant, isn't it? It's very relevant for us as people. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's already here. In 24 hours, it's hit a million views already. I think that's more down to him, not like the vaping industry will crowd together. No, I, I, think, I think it's better. the situation this bit of laugh he's doing is very relevant to today's sort of, you know, everyday perspective of a vapor. Um, but I thought it was quite funny, but I was reading some of the videos, the video comments. And I'm not fucking joking you. Some vapors on there were getting really fucking irate and arguing. I don't, I don't see the point. <laughs> you know, he's done. He's done a video. It's light-hearted. It, it is quite funny. People can relate to it. Um, other people think it's a bit stupid. But at the end of the day, it's the internet. It's a video. Get over it. Done. Conversation over. Next subject, please, Tom. You're <laughs> <laughs> a bit antsy about that subject. It's almost like you're a vape mate. <laughs> it's almost like get over it. You know, what's the point of crying about something? I, I've got, I, you can't, you can't produce clouds with this. Not on now, uh, after long. Oh, believe it or not, right? I ran out of twenty six gauge, so I put twenty four gauge in like eight wraps. So it's coming in at point seven, but I have to run it at twenty nine watts. What? At mouth long? Yeah, oh, do it. it's decent though. Like at that, so I, when I'm in Denny, I'll pick up some twenty six gauge. But... Do you not stock it in your shop? So we fuck you and your fucking fairy hat and you and your Sonic hat. All I'm saying is, what what do you think the public's perception of that video is? Do you think that's oh. true? Oh, is what true? Public, you obviously we see it as a laugh. We watched the video. We all laughed at it. I definitely fucking laughed at it. I thought it was funny. I shared it. 
I sent it to my fucking missus, I sent it to people I know and said, look at this, it's fucking true, this is very true, relevant to, to vaping. And obviously with people sort of being up in arms on, on the comments, be, basically being like, well, it's better than fucking smoking, you know, your typical sort of pro vapor and all, it's better than smoking and da 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 and arguing with people over a fucking comedic video. Yeah, the, do, you, the, do you think the perception of vaping is very much that what he's put out there? The, the people that are arguing are obviously the people that blow vapor in people's faces on, on purpose, right? So, I mean, the whole point of a satirical situational comedy is that it's an exaggerated version of real life. That's what makes it funny. So even if it is picked up on by him, uh, you know, there's plenty of people that are making vaping videos that were funny years ago, like a big fat guy that did the vape cloud of a, it's like a cotton wool he pulls out of his mouth. Yeah, and the other yeah. big fat guy that used to do Riyaz Rundown, he was funny. Oh, <laughs> I, I used to like him. I don't know what happened. I, I had to let himself go and started, died. Start, died. started drinking cider at a bus stop. <laughs> he died. Not no more. Not with the tax on that shit. I know. What's with that? You don't have to deal with this yet, Tom. In Scotland, <laughs> there's a minimum unit price. So a bottle of Frosty Jacks you can get smashed for two quid is now like eleven pound. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't or... even it wasn't even nice enough to pay two pound fifty. You'd only buy it if it was one ninety nine. And now they've made it eleven quid. What's that all about? Well, it's to stop these I don't, they'll still get pissed though. They still do. I had to kick out um well no, actually no, they go on to other stuff. Yeah, um, drinking alcohol hand wash. Well, alcohol no, hand gel. We, we've got a guy that comes into a shop, and I don't want to say no names, obviously, but he's um he's an ex ex heroin addict, got a drinking problem, and recently because of the tax, he's been taking lots of Valium. Why? Well, that's not a substitute. <laughs> I don't know, but I had to kick him out the other day. I had oh. to kick him out the shop. I was like, right, mate, come back when you're straight. See you later. Oh, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to prawn mayo. Or oh, I know what I'll have today: charcoal. There's no. What, there's no. There's no. There's no relevance. There's no relevance. There's no. You know, it doesn't come hand in hand. It's not gin and tonic. I've still never gets thought, you. Oh, still gets you a bit fucked. Of course it does. Exactly. But I mean, so does licking the mold off of Ivita, But it's not advisable. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you don't think? Oh, I used to really like getting pissed, but I can't no, afford it. No, it is now. now. It is now. We we could basically say this 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 alcohol this unit tax is a gateway to Valium. <laughs> yeah, Gate, gateway drug. <coughs> so please explain it again, just so I'm clarified. You now pay a unit price. Yeah, there's a minimum price per unit. So if a bottle contains sixteen units, it needs to be sixteen times this minimum price. I don't know what the minimum price is. No, I don't but, either. I don't. Uh, are you out of the? Okay. Oh, were you out of the bus stops before uh, <laughs> before this kicked in? Were you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit fucking madness. I mean, to be honest, I don't blame them. I think they said something on the news about in Scotland, like say like twelve percent of the deaths are related to alcohol. That's pretty mental, isn't it? Twelve percent of Scottish deaths. Heroin in Scotland. <laughs> That's why only twelve percent is alcohol related. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, heroin, heroin's it's the same everywhere, really. You just notice it more because there's a less of a population. Do you know what I mean? If there's only fifteen hundred people in your town and there's there's two junkies, you're gonna notice it a lot more than if there's fifteen thousand and twenty junkies. Do you know what I mean? No, I can't yeah. I can't find the minimum unit price, but it is it's hefty. Well, divide a bottle of frosty jacks. <laughs> The units divided by the price because I guarantee they're not charging more than the fucking have to. I tell you that much. Either way, either way, it's expensive. Well, yeah, but it, it, there's yeah. literally no hike on wine or something like that because obviously the price is higher than the unit cost anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it's mainly just these um... alcoholic brands. The, the the cheap park go to the park, have a drink brands, which is which is um, bad news because that's my social life out the way now. <laughs> I remember when I was fourteen, it was a lot easier to ask your mum for for two pound for twelve quid. That, <laughs> I did not the bill for twenty stuff. 
Dad, <laughs> Dad, I, I need £11.60. What do you need £11.60 for? Well, it just doesn't make any sense, does it? I'm just looking at you two with your hat and <laughs> What are you on about? I'll be right back. I need to go for a pee. I stupidly didn't have one in the shower before I got out. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna try and have a serious conversation with you with your fucking golden fucking butterfly out or whatever. This is, um, this is actually uh Molly's bridesmaid hat. It's still, it's still got the fucking tags on. <laughs> she wore that at a wedding. How's it still got the tags? Cheap fucking wedding. <laughs> Molly's bridesmaid hat that was. She had gold spangly converse as well. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'm coming to the end of the hat collection, so. <laughs> no, I just want to have a serious conversation with you. Well, I'm going to try. Just about the perception of vaping through sort of that video. What do you think the perception of va people would see from that video who doesn't know anything about vaping? Do you think uh, they'd see? I think, uh, I think a lot would just find it amusing, to be honest. Um, and, and obviously can relate because... You got to be some sort of weirdo that doesn't leave the house if you haven't had a cloud in the face, right? True. Um, accidentally or intentionally. Um, hopefully it'd be accidentally. But I don't, I just, Tom, it's another one of these subjects that I could not give a fuck about. I know, <laughs> but it's something that's relevant to us, especially yourself. As in, you, you got you got to remember, sort of, you are an outlet for people to purchase electronic cigarettes and if people are gonna go where'd you get that from and then they start fucking getting bad negative sort of public feedback at this twat is walking down the street blowing a bit like that and then they turn on where'd you get that from well i got it from rig shop down the street and fuck and then they're gonna go fuck him he's a con yeah no, right. going, no. Oh, what, what do you think of public perception of, of vaping especially when it's out in like mainstream media like that that's got a million views in 24 hours well done there's like 60 million in this country it's still for Facebook. Let's be realistic. It's it's very it's very widespread. I thought the video. What I'm trying to get is, I thought the video was funny because I, I understand that. But there's not a lot of people that understand that. I thought it was amusing, and I could relate to it. But at the same time, it's not what I do. Of of course, of course. You Shake do of it. Our fucking corner. You do it. You sound. You stand in the supermarket. Blow me clouds. Didn't you have a fight with an old granny? I didn't have a fight at all. I just told her my opinion. You did. You told me you punched her <laughs> in the tits. She was vaping in a supermarket and I told her my opinions and my opinions wasn't very nice. And she wasn't an old granny. She was about 50. Old granny, man. So what do you think? Well, we won't even fucking ask Chris. Chris has just fucking got his hat change on. Have you got your last hat change yet? <laughs> what? Have I got mine? Yeah, you got your whole Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, do you want to let us know a little bit of information about this mech that you're holding up? Uh, let us know. Let us people into a little bit of a secret. Yeah. So, what do you want to know? You want full screen. I've just got a... Can you change that for this? Oh, have you not got another change of house? <laughs> 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 I'm just not planning on using that for another wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I've just squashed it a little bit. <laughs> oh, so funny, for fuck's sake. I just so, don't yeah. I get fascinated, full stop. What do you think of that, Victoria? What do I think of it? What do you think of the look of it? Looks like a... Uh... Hold it up. That's an alpha, isn't it? No, the RDA is. And the Vulcan. Yeah, the RDA oh, yeah. is. <laughs> oh, it's a champion tip. Let me try and get a... There we go, look at that. What do you think of it? What is it? 
It's a tube mod, you dildo. Yeah, but is it like 8 and 650? It's 8 and 650, yeah. What do you, what do you think of the look of it, though? 650. Uh, I like it. It's not, not particularly my start. I prefer, I just like clean. What about now? What? What the fuck? What that though? <laughs> <laughs> right, change it for the brass leaf. That'd be right. That's the one. You like that one? I like it. I like Can you change switch color as well. Yeah, yeah. Right, I want a black switch and uh, a, a brass. Wait, sleeve. I need to. I need to dig through my fucking bag here. It took me a second to realise that was the sleeve you were changing over. Do you think I just swapped the mod? Mm. So what about? Let me get. Oh, I need to get parts here. I need parts. That'll do. So what about if we did like? Well, like all black, or maybe like all stainless, but the black button. How's that one? You need black RDA. Uh, that can be arranged. Oh fuck no! I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come that prepared. It's it's almost as if there's endless options there. there. Well, there is. But what about this? What about if you wanted to do? Series. Let me make sure it's dripped. I made a mistake of this earlier. Oh, stack them. Is that? Is that? Uh, uh, I take it that's just got a plain sleeve and then your logo sleeve on it. Uh, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's got a plain body and then it's got a sleeve with a logo on it. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean the stacked version. Have you got two logo sleeves on that, or is that just? That's like a long sleeve. But like, say for instance. <laughs> what is that on top? Oh, that's a temple. <laughs> temple. I haven't what? used that for fucking ages. I'm just Why are you to... not using the Pandora on it? I uh, can't be asked. Look, so so what about if you wanted to like take your stacked mod, right? Oh, and then oh, so it's one big sleeve, right? And then then take take out one of the batteries, and then find the RDA you dropped on the floor. So yeah, you take off one of the batteries and then just clip that on. Like that. You just take your take your RDA and just right. put it on. Yeah. And then you can take a different sleeve. And the sleeve holds it in place. There you go. Oh. That's a series build on a single battery. I like that. I like, I like that idea. <laughs> Fuck me. This desk is not made to have shit on it. <laughs> stop, stop shitting on it then. I mean, um. Like, so, you could take that or that, and then take the RDA off. Uh-huh. And then just grab yourself another section. Is that the same, is that or, the same or, section? Or, or maybe even another section. Is that the same Is that the same tube, though, that you keep putting on? Look, Chris, show the tube. What do you mean? Is that the same tube you keep putting on, though, like, without the button? Yeah, no. So look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tube, and then you just click your button. You just on, click the button, and then you clip your fucking stacked piece on, and then you get your big fat sleeve. Ah, okay. Show me how the idea. Show me how the idea goes in. Like, like it, like a Meccano set. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, what are you going to call it? The plug and play. <laughs> <laughs> you made me drop a section, <laughs> then you did. <laughs> yeah, so. A threadless tube. So you just take your button, uh -huh. change it for a different colour if you wanted. If you wanted a black button, just put a black button on. Or if you wanted a brass button or a, a brass tube with a stainless sleeve. So the or... tube holds everything in place, right? Well, they hold freestanding, but it's just press fit. It's machined yeah, but... to, to the yeah, micro. But, the, but the, sleeve, the sleeve stops it from coming apart. Yeah. So yeah. take your battery, drop your battery in. Right. Clip your RDA on. Take your sleeve and uh, done. Right. And is that, that compatible? That's, that com that's not compatible with all RDAs, though, surely. Absolutely fucking is. Oh, so you screw it onto a uh, base that you clip in? Uh, also. We're, there might be a V2S deck 
that already has that built in. So you can buy R RDAs, or it'll come with RDAs that just clip onto your mod. So it come with a 510 adapter? Essentially. Yeah. Or, ah, okay. Yeah. I like that. That's that's very, very interesting. New. Uh, how 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 good is that? We've take, it's taken a while for someone to come up with something new. <clears throat> but innovation. Yeah. Innovation. Yeah. You can literally <coughs> in a matter of seconds stack it, triple stack it, quad stack it if you're a cub. Do you, know I mean? you, you could, but you wouldn't want to vape it with the RDA that's already on there. Well, <coughs> this is why you can have four or five RDAs set up with a 0.1 build, a 0.2 build, or a 0.4 build, or a whatever the fuck this is build. I like it. I Do you know what? I really like it. Not a fan of your presentation of it, but, but <laughs> I really, I actually really like the idea. I think but what about what about the idea of taking this with your button on it, like this, dropping that down into a box, clicking a bottom, and then having a squonker with a top fire button? Yeah, that would that would definitely be interesting. But what about if you just took that bottle out and clicked another tube on the side, and then you've got a series box or a parallel box? Or what about if you had a U-shaped tube that you clip in, so you can have it like a U and you top yeah, firing? That, yeah, you'd have that, but you'd have like a little skeleton bridge in between. Fuck the bridge. <laughs> or you could have it like 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 you're describing, which is a bit like the endo armor. I don't like that idea, but <laughs> but but more affordable, right? A lot more affordable. Yeah. Imagine that endo armor that's got cost you four hundred and eighty quid, and. Uh, at least cutting that price in half. At least cutting that price in half. Especially if you based it on other things that may have been released by Endless. Like what? Like their other mod. Compare that to the price of a scoundrel. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> what the fuck did you think I meant? Well, you said Endless. I thought you said Able. <laughs> <laughs> Like an AVA, bro. I'm like, what, what's what's your point here? <laughs> uh, you've got a brass button with a black button, a brass button housing with a black button, uh, a brass uh, inner sleeve. And what about if you had any RDA you wanted on it, right? To say you wanted this Vulcan on it, and you could turn the sleeve to face anywhere on the mod. So well, it was so you always could take, take pictures. In line. Yeah, so it was always in line with your logo. Well, wow, that's probably the least of my concerns, but I know, I know. It bugs oh, there's a lot, a lot of people. people that are bothered by it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I think it's a. Uh, do you know what I think it would look really nice? Go on. If you had um, one of those okay. like neo neo chrome tubes with a just a normal stainless sleeve or, or silver plated sleeve. So what think... about if there? What about if there was a, a little tiny bit milled out of this top half, and you could drop coloured sleeves into it, so you could have. 50 different colors coming through that. What about if you had an LCD screen <laughs> and uh, an USB charging? Oh, that'd be fucking good, wouldn't it? Yeah, that is that, what, is that what's coming out now. Is that what's on the market these days? I don't know. I like it. What about why has no one done this? Probably because it's fucking dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> A mech charger that you're screwing through the 510. And yeah, that's a the... fucking stupid idea. <laughs> and then you got to hold the button to charge it. <laughs> that is a stupid idea. <laughs> Test it out. Make yourself a prototype at home. <laughs> Not viewers, you. All right. To be honest, I really wanted to use the Emmy um, with, with this tank tonight, but because I've got a stupid fucking... 24 gauge in there, it takes too long to ramp up. So See, I need what, to get my 26 gauge. What do we think of the idea? I think I it's think brilliant. It's idea. I, I like the idea. I mean, when, when you first held it up, I'm like, oh, it's just another tube. I but think then you start, that's what yeah. everyone thinks, isn't it? It's like a transformer. Zero battery 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 rattle. Battery rattle. That one. Have you thought of any names for it? Well, 
Paul hates the logo. And I love right. it. Right. Um, so there's a possibility there's going to be a whole load of sleeves that have all different logos in them. Or you could have your name put into them. Or you could buy blank sleeves that you could have cut and have whatever you want on them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's that's I'm just looking at chat. Nikki Nikki Fraser put the pandemonium. I think Chris wants to get away from Pandora. It's actually called the pandemonium. But what that with, with the EM. With the EM on the end. No, you yeah. gotta call it endless chaos. Endless chaos. I like that. It doesn't fit with the M though, is it? Because there's like that build M. Tom, give me some other suggestions. It's, I think the Pandemon EM is is pretty cool. I don't like that idea. No, well you got you got AF juice, right? You could just call it a fuck 'em. <laughs> <laughs> I do like endless chaos though. I do like that as well. I like that a lot. It's like but, a collab then. You got the collab sort of thing. But the problem is that knowing Paul, if he like doesn't like the logo, it's not going on. Like regardless, so I expect resistance if I did try and change. Uh, if I did try and keep the logo, so the chaos wouldn't really be as uh, as relevant, would it? True, true story. I think there's a lot of uh, options. Endless options. Uh, that can be done. <laughs> endless, endless options. Yeah, endless options. <laughs> <laughs> you by far have the better kids hat collection. <laughs> <laughs> I also think I've got a bigger head. What's that one called, Chance? Is it Chance that one? Or what? Cheers. Chase. Cheers. Well, you are thinking of the 1998 film Homeward Bound. <laughs> <laughs> Salute you, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to do some. Well, I say quick maths, but uh, you could, oh, you the... could call it. You could call it the plug them. Could you plug them together? Plug them. <coughs> plug them. I don't <laughs> think that's an idea. The clickatron. Uh, to be honest. Uh, To be honest, I did uh, think of calling it Click, but then click. Uh, then Clit, Click, and then Click and then, and then nah, maybe <laughs> sounds a bit too much like connects, doesn't it? I'm trying to work out the uh, the circumference of a circle if the radius is twelve point five millimeters. Twelve point five millimeters. Hang on, hang on. I can wait this out. What, hang on, circumference of a circle if the radius is what? 12 and a half millimeters. Quick maths. <sighs> Seven, <laughs> 78.54. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You are too dumb. Maths was, maths was the only good thing I'm good at. Um, Google that for me, please. My fucking computer's been a dick. Tom, Google if the radius of a circle is 12.5. Yeah, it's the comfort. It is. What, 78.54. There's no way you have brains enough to answer that question. What's the, what's the radius? 12.5. I can do I can do maths. What did you say it was before Tom finds the answer? 78.54. 78.4. I'm putting that in the chat. 78.54. <clears throat> right, Thomas, have you found the answer, please? Oh, that's fuck. Uh, you can't Google. Well, to be honest, I'm asking you to. 78.54. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Show me it. Show me Nailed it. it. Nailed it. Show me it. I. Oh, no, never a doubt, never a doubt. Ever. I thought I was good at maths. <laughs> we need to have a quiz off at some point. It's fucking, uh, t t to be honest, mate, it's easy when you know how. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you just times, right, so what's the question? The radius 12.5. Uh, 
yeah. You want to find the circumference. So you take the 12.5 and you times it by Facebook Messenger. Times it by Facebook Messenger? Yeah, that's the answer. Times it by Facebook Messenger. Because <laughs> that's what he asked. <laughs> He's such a fucking moron. So, Tom, what other questions did you have today? I wanted to know why he was asking that question in the first place. I'm trying to fucking sort out a design of a mod. Okay. <clears throat> 78.54. I'd let you know that. Congratulations, Rick. Round of applause. <laughs> well done. I don't believe that. So I have got some other questions. I thought this was going to be a serious show, but then I technically thought to myself, this really isn't going to be a serious show with you two fuckers, John. I mean, that's two fuckers. There's plenty of other fuckers you could have had. We, we <laughs> yeah, to be fair, we, we should invite Mark Dolan and do a show that's what Vote Talk should have been. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Stu, if you want. So let's be, I'm going to be trying... <laughs> So I want to be serious for a minute. Go on. If, you, if you can allow me to be serious for a minute. I was know. reading a news article from The Independent earlier today. Um, you can write it. I was, yes, I was reading, Christopher, before you asked. <laughs> I can read. Was, was it bars written by you? I think I can read just a little bit. So Wait, reading you read it? Article and it basically said that the preferred life choice these days is vaping over cigarettes. Do you think that's a fact or do you think that's false? I think it's bullshit, personally. I don't believe for a second that there's more vapors than smokers. I don't think that's what the article's getting at. I, I, I think it's getting at if you're neither. What are the kids, what are the kids doing these yeah, days? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if if you need that and you, you're you have to make you want to make that choice, people are preferring to pick vaping over smoking. It's, yes, it's, I think absolutely. The, it's almost smoke... like if I, if I said to you, "What was what was at the last count? What's the population of Leeds?" It's the same fucking thing, isn't it? Really, population of Leeds. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have a guess. Have a guess. <laughs> Tom, do you know this? Do I fuck? The public, you live in Leeds, you should know this. Chris, hold your hands up so, so you're not Googling it, right? Right, go on. Um, uh, let me let me let me find it first, right? Okay, okay. Let me type in population, population of Leeds, right? At the last count, I'm gonna say about seven million. Uh, it's nowhere near. That. I reckon it's about. I reckon it's about seven hundred fifteen thousand four hundred and four or something. Fuck off! You googled that. What is How it? Adds up. You googled that. What is it? Seven hundred fifteen thousand four hundred and four. Is it? When was that counted? No. no yeah, it's not. It's, 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 when was that counted? Uh, probably at the 2011 census, I guess. Um, it doesn't actually physically say. It... How can you think Leeds has got 7 million people? Why well, was it in the UK? Like 60, 60 million or something in the UK? 60 million, yes. And how many people live in Leeds, Thomas? 700,000. That's not fucking 7 bull. million, you fucking That is that. fucking bullshit. There's new people coming on my street every day. <laughs> There's no way that, you know, around 10% of the population of the world, 9% live in Leeds. Of the world? <laughs> uh, of the UK, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. What, what is this strangeness that you just nailed that? That's weird. You must have Googled it. You've got I can't like. E I can't even remember what number I said. We'll have to watch back. You've got like Alexa. Uh, I'll tell you the number you said. Is it seven hundred and fifteen thousand four hundred and four? Anyway, what were you saying? Sorry, <laughs> the independent study. The independent yeah, I thing. think I think a lot more people are leaning towards vaping. I think smokers were seen as lepers, even in like when the smoking ban kicked in, because I think people just blended in. 
you know what I mean? They'd go out for a fag. Everyone was smoking in pubs. So you never really judged anyone because everyone around you was doing the same thing. And then when the smoking ban kicked in, people chose to give up or they chose to go out to designated smoking areas. They were segregated from general population. Sounds stupid. No, no, you're, you're right. You are right. An interesting point, morbidly obese Tintin. <laughs> You look like the bad guy out of Tintin, actually. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. I don't know. Bad guy from Tintin. I love the fact that Tom hasn't had a single content of vaping on this show so far. Hello, right? Here he is. This looks just like you, Rick. Let me screen share. There he is. <laughs> he looks just like you. He needs to uh, chase his hat, though. How can I zoom in? Fuck, I don't know. Matt. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so this this independent study, yeah? No, just it sort of, to, the article to me sort of linked towards the fact is that people, rather than using, going to smoking, first of all, they're leading more towards vaping. To me, personally, I don't know if that... If I can actually justify that as a fact, because yeah, there is sort of the mass amounts of people. What, what, eleven million smokers in the UK? Yeah, I mean, to, to be honest, you need to know where that source has come from because they might have interviewed ten people, asked ten people outside of ape shop that question. Well, I mean, but I mean, think about it though, because if if there's eleven million people, eleven million smokers, at least seven million of them will live in Leeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No wonder Doe opened a bait shop at least. Seven million. <laughs> no wonder he's just bought a jag. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah I, just, I, I, just, I didn't want to. I didn't understand that. Obviously, I think that question was probably worded a lot differently when it was asked. The question in itself basically says, "Is your kid more likely to start smoking or vaping?" Yeah. That's what the question is, basically. If your kid at school decided to pick up a habit, out of the two, do you think they'd be more likely to pick vaping or smoking? That's the only way they could work that out. Because yeah, people... people, if, if you're 68 years old, you're not going to start smoking or start vaping if you do neither. Do you know what I mean? You can't imagine old Granny Doris at 95 years old, never smoked in her life, doesn't even know that TVs don't come in black and white no more. And you think she's going to pick up a fucking food nah, poo trap? Nah, see, they're, they're the clever ones because they get they get cheap TV license. Man, that's actually true. intelligent. But do you think what? they're going to pick up a fucking smock alien and it's fucking giving her, doing a disco in her face? Or like that snow wolf with a fucking neon sign on it. And she's going to think, oh, yeah. People, yeah, but we all but know, we all people, know a vapor that's never smoked. We all know a bit, at least one vapor. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're, like, they're like teenagers, 20, 30 years old. Do you know what I mean? They're not the general pop population. <laughs> teenagers, 20, 20 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about no, you. I, I meant I meant teenage, teenagers to twenty teenagers, twenty year olds or thirty year olds, forty you know what I mean? That sort of age range. I didn't mean thirty year old teenagers. I fucking don't know. Yeah, but it's not even like we can have the debate and say vaping's more accessible because it, you can go into a supermarket and buy bags. Uh you can go into a supermarket and buy dinner, lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can go you can go to China and buy a dinner lady too. Hey, I have. Nice. She had a suspicious package in her pants. No. The, fact, the fact that she's wearing pants should have given it away. Um, Dan Green in chat said vaping works out cheaper than smoking. Yeah, so there you go. That's another. That's I another disagree. Reason why it would. It, I well, disagree. yes, but you you are different to the normal person that comes in and just wants a T twenty S and and three menthol eighteen oils. <laughs> it just goes back to this article sort of to me goes back to the public perception of smoking to vaping and what actually people know and what they actually assume 
it's not like people know what's in a fag because it's in all day stuff. You know what I mean? You know it's got nicotine in. You know it causes cancer. You know it does this. You know it does that. Do you know what I mean? You know it's bad for you. You'd be surprised the amount of people I tell it's got like six thousand chemicals or something. They go, "Oh, really?" You know. Like, <laughs> yeah. There's there's like a yeah. scale, isn't there, of in the know. That, that, or, or, or perception on smoking. That's the way it is. There's vapors who hate smoking. There's people who don't vape that hate smoking. Then there's the people that are sm- that don't have an opinion or are smokers. Then you've got the educated smokers who know it's bad for them, but they still do it. And then you've got the idiots that think that it's good for you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We're talking about that end, that bottom end of the scale. That would probably try and drink dinner lady because they thought the ones, it the ones that are in a river in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, just in case you want the punchline for that joke, it's in denial. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> Did, yeah, I knew you wouldn't get it. That was so wet, it was unreal. <laughs> that was a proper dad joke. You've had you had a kid a couple of years ago, and now you're cracking out. The dad I know, I know. Right? You it's cracked out better you for cracked, me, to be honest. You cracked out the dad bod about ten years before she was born, but you're cracking up. <laughs> yeah. Could be worse. You look a bit like that geezer from Impractical Jokers. I actually quite like him. What's this? Oh, Neil Paul. There, uh, va- there was a vlog with vaping with Mike at Expo, and the new thing. Will actually smoke if lit. Well, what? Yeah, yeah Icos. Was, I, Icos. I did. I saw. I saw the Icos stick, and someone lit it and smoked it in Expo, which I don't agree with because you're not allowed to smoke indoors, right? But they were proving a point. Heat not bad, mate. <laughs> it's not burning. It's just heating. But they lit it to see because they reckon you can't light it and smoke it like a normal cigarette, but you can. By, it's covered by. It's by, like, covered in glycerin, isn't it? Yeah, PG in it. I thought it was PG. PG, PG. Oh, PG. Yeah, I thought it was soaked in PG. So don't mind me. I just have a little. I have a fridge in my shed. We're getting our uh, fridges in the shop. We've 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 got. Um, <laughs> You're getting two... fridges in Denny soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be honest, the the river's getting overpopulated with fucking with with whatever the shit is they drink up here. The river's getting overpopulated. Well, people sticking their shop in it, like pinning yeah, it to the river bank. Milk, keep, milk cartons. Yeah, keep it cold. And, yeah. 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 No, no, just getting, have a bit of where you are. Getting a couple of monster fridges. Ooh. Do you, wait, the question is, if you use a specific brand, do you get that for free if you buy a certain amount of Coke? Yeah. Um, like, oh, I mean, Monster. Yeah, they, I mean, they all do it. But Monster, we get the fridge for free. Um, but it has to be stocked with Monster apart from the bottom shelf. And how, and do you have to buy a certain amount of monster to get it? No, as long as it's stocked. And they come to inspections. I I doubt it. I I seriously doubt it. Are you going to stock anything other than monster in it? Yeah, in the bottom shelf. Not on any of the others. No, no. I I, I quite like monster to be honest. Yeah. Are you going to go a bit mental and get all the different coloured ones? Yeah. Yeah. Going for the full range. We've got the fucking sugar tax up here as well. Is that done in England as well? Or is that just up here? The well, sugar tax? Yeah. It should, it should be in fucking England. Dom? <laughs> Dom? Yes? There's sugar tax in England. Yes, the sugar tax here, yeah. And Tom's not going to fucking know. He just eats the shit. <laughs> I just get it when it comes off from shop. It just magically turns up in a bag and... <laughs> Did you lay off the? You what? Did you lay off the sugar for Expo? Cause I did. I didn't have a fit at Expo, so I definitely laid off the sugar at Expo. Because last time you got a bit uh, rope. Got a bit energetic and decided to collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Take up more of the fucking taxpayers' money. I'm sure. What somebody saying? No, it's it's England too. Yes, there is a sugar tax in England. Fucking pain That's massive. why fucking all the fizzy pops are going smaller and smaller and smaller. Got See, me check this out. Full basis. fat, full fat Fanta. Didn't cost me the, the fucking about that big now. Little bottles of fucking yeah. Oasis. Take yeah, seen Monster Energy's gone down to four hundred and twenty-five mil as opposed to five hundred. Well, it's a one one so, pound 
Uh, so it's something from yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna have a little tiny fridge. It's just gonna turn up, it's gonna be like the size of a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not a laughs> I don't yeah. care. And you're gonna get little tins of monster, you know, like they sell at Weatherspoons for the same for like two pounds fifty, and they're like half a red bull can. Yeah, like one of these. Little tonic water can. <laughs> Uh, so the next subject I've got, it sort of leads on to the... You were never this prepared on Vape Talk. You what? You were never this prepared on Vape yeah, Talk. Weird, Which yeah, was the one much, that was prepared? It's weird how much pull with a prong up your ass fucking does. I know. You've lost weight. You're actually physically working. I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I wouldn't get that far. I wouldn't well, get that far. I, I, I'm still proud of you, Thomas. I don't tell you enough. Thanks, mate. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. Your, your well, hairline. Sort of the side of losing weight and shit like that. And da, 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 da. I'll, I'll tell you if I'm proud of Thomas or not, where, if our delivery arrives tomorrow. I bet you it's not, if it's not already there, it'll be there tomorrow. It might already be there. I don't know. Hang on. I'm going to message Jed now and we can tell you live. No. I never let you down. Well, I don't know. I don't let you I down. Want a, I want a delivery of free shit. It's not free shit. No, I, I don't want, want to pay deliver- for it. <laughs> I, want a, I want a delivery of free shit, though. What can, what can you arrange? Pull some strings, Thomas. You're big in the industry. Pull some strings. You're no longer like Big Thomas on YouTube. But it'll be soon enough when I'm actually selling your mods. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, God. My fate's in Tom's hands. Gonna I, Chris, I, I, would, I would almost do the industry yourself, Chris. <laughs> I could, I could probably put a phone, a, an ad in a phone box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, a little, little, a little number on the back of a toilet door. <laughs> down, down the pop toilet for good times. Ring this number. More people leave pleased. <laughs> and there's a picture you holding up stack one. <laughs> yeah, triple stack for your pleasure. <laughs> oh, I want one of these. Where can I get one of these? <laughs> cool, Tom. <laughs> that Thomas. So going on the sort of same article of obviously like the the life choice has obviously been vaping over cigarettes. There was another article sort of inside that, and they were saying obviously vapors at the minute are basically guinea pigs for long. Um, health benefits or health effects. Of um, do you honestly think we are the guinea pigs <laughs> of the future for this? It's just a fucking non story. Any, anybody that does something new where we don't know that the end results is, is a guinea pig, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a scientific test, it, but it, it's conducted by ourselves. You know, it's one of us regulating that us, with, with doing all the testing and stuff. Obviously, we've got stuff like the TPD in place and whatnot with all the regulations on the juice and stuff. But do you not think we've also set regulations in this industry as guinea pigs? Well, you know, but don't, don't forget, right? That vaping's come about through no help from the government, no help from anybody else apart from ourselves, the vapors. Yeah. That we've created this industry, we've made it what it is. Shit, it's our fault. <laughs> <laughs> that no, fucking I mean, Pandora. <laughs> fuck, off. <laughs> fuck off. It's that Alpha Vape. Stole, <laughs> they stole their name off of, off of an RDA. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't we even think of anything of, original. We stole ours off of Sony. What are you about? Have you not seen I, 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 I bet. I bet at family barbecues you've got a cool Jed Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Is he bald? Please tell me he's bald. <laughs> he, he's, he's getting thin. <laughs> and he, call, he calls you orphan Manny. <laughs> Pats you on the head and says the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> him. Is that what we're saying? Ricky's technically out <laughs> Fucking <laughs> right. He's been in- adopted into the family and taken care of big time. <laughs> Which Annie, though? The old one or the new one? 
<laughs> well, <laughs> the new one <laughs> kind of the wrong race for <laughs> the original is uh, more accurate. You're more like the little whingy girl. Don't, the little ginger. Ginger. Don't yeah. fucking assume my race, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your Mrs. Ginger? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not, <laughs> obviously not a true Scottish woman. My um no, well, my um we, we, we did have suspicions that Molly was gonna be <laughs> she's very fair head, but she's your postman get, ginger. She's starting to get some brown roots. I had I had a sack and bricks ready and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Is your postman ginger? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen my postman because I work for a living Chris. <laughs> Ah, yeah, and orphans don't get give, don't get stuff in the mail, do they? <laughs> Mrs. Hannigan has to sort for it first. <laughs> yeah, you work scrubbing the beds, don't you? I've, I've but, never seen making, Annie making the beds and scrubbing the floors. I've never seen Annie, so these jokes that's are a wasted. Wasted. That's a lie. lie. No, that is a lie. That is like, a I can go. I hundred percent promise you, I've never seen Annie. Oh, oh this is what happened. This is what happens when 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 you're orphan Annie. You don't have TV at Christmas, and you don't get to watch the Christmas movies. It's it's one of Jenna's favorite films, but it's not it's not for me. Ask her to ask her to compare your situation with Annie's when you explain the anecdote, and let me know what she says, please. No, for science. No, please just call her daddy her dad, Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just as he passes you a hamburger. Thanks, Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely not Annie's Annie's voice. <laughs> For the benefit of Rick, can we just sing the song? <laughs> Come love tomorrow. What's, what's, his name? what's his name? Daddy Warbucks. Daddy <laughs> Warbucks. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't look anything like him. Does he drive the same car? Live in the same sort of house? <laughs> what car does he drive? I don't know. <laughs> From the 30s or 40s, the original, 50s maybe? No. Nah, but 80s probably, I don't know, fuck knows. We still need to talk it's about old. these be these health benefits in baby, let alone fucking Annie over here. <laughs> do, do, do you think you've put on weight after starting vaping? I have, but that's because I've become accustomed to the Scottish tradition of frying everything. <laughs> frying pizza? Just frying everything. I, I went to a doctor's for when I first moved up here, um, and they said they did me a, like a they do like an MOT when you first sign up. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a week to live. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. They said, uh, they said, as you know, you're overweight. I'm like, no shit. They're like, you should have gone, am I? <laughs> they said, the best thing. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell, I didn't know. <laughs> I acted really offended. Yeah, I thought I just had to What are you trying to say? What, just a fancy skin? <laughs> I'm big bones. <laughs> <laughs> but they said, uh, I'm going home. They said, <laughs> they, said, they said, you need to reduce your salt intake by 600%. <laughs> Six I said, I said, I said, what? She's like, how long have you lived in Scotland? I says about three weeks. She goes, oh, just just fifty percent then. <laughs> like, what? what the fuck? They said if if you live outside of Scotland, your salt intake, uh, your salt intake would be X, whatever it is. They reckon the Scottish is six six times, uh, six hundred percent higher. I do know, uh, Daddy Daddy Warbucks likes to put a lot of salt on his stuff. Yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> uh, we, we, had a, we had a curry once and um we mixed up the naans so i got his naan that he had already pre-salted and i could not even eat it, it why, are you, why are you eating daddy warbucks's salty naan <laughs> <laughs> and i want to know how you got mixed up after he covered it in salt because they look the same and we just grabbed them, but he, <laughs> he, he put, for he put salty naan on the platter. <laughs> yeah. 
he, we decided to to stop for a game of Naked Twister. And then uh, <laughs> after the game finished, we picked up the wrong salty naan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, see, this is why the show is called Endless Banter. This, is, this joke is going to go on forever. I, I, go, I, <coughs> I'm going to pop in. I don't even know what we're talking about. Why next are we talking weekend, about, mate? Next you, you weekend, are. I'm gonna I'm gonna come see you next weekend. I'm away. Oh, so I'll go see Daddy Warbucks instead. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm gonna come down. I'm not I'm, away. I, I am off. I think. I'm seeing Ed Sheeran on Saturday in Glasgow. Oh, we're seeing him on Friday. Uh right. Could have gone together if you were going on Saturday. Well, uh, <laughs> technically, I'm his brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got you got better tickets, VIP. I, I wish I had uh, listened to a few of his songs prior. <laughs> Have you not listened to any of his songs? Yeah, I, I, I don't know them worth a word. In concerts, are better when you can sing, right? When you can sing along. So I'll be going. <laughs> Which is pretty you fucking won't. close. You won't. I can guarantee he will play about five songs from the album and then he'll just smash old hits. He does it every time. He's got the most incredible stage show. If you know that uh, You Need Me, I Don't Need You? No. He, uh, oh, yeah. You Need Me, I Don't Need You. He you did a me. mad rendition of that for 20 minutes at the last gig I had. That would fucking bore me. I would, I would. Oh, honestly. <laughs> literally. Honestly. Honestly. It was shit so, in my hand. It was so it. good. It was so good. Honestly, you should Google it. After the show, uh, watch it before we get off air. He might even do it. He might even do it. He will do it, honestly. And it's incredible. He, he mashes up loads of different songs into it. He does his mad guitar and dro- like. Oh, it's so good, honestly. Oh, well done, well done. Lip syncing and pretending to play the guitar at the same time, brilliant. It does lip sync, does it? No, that. Nah. It's what got a combination of fucking. The sun will come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am gonna play that joke out to the very fucking end. <laughs> yeah, you, know, really you, know, you know, when this, these new jokes come along and this new banter comes along, it, I, I'm saying banter. I, because it's called Ernest Banter. And Chris is like, got original content. He's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Boom, 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 boom. Knocking me sideways, everyways. And then Tom just comes out with one song 50 times. <laughs> hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Can you just do that again? Because it looked like you're waving cock, didn't you? <laughs> you know because that? Because Tom has never seen Annie. <laughs> What's that geezer from I Don't Like Mondays? Is it Bez? Bez? From the Happy Mondays. Happy Mondays. <laughs> yeah. That's it cool. couldn't be more obviously. You might as well call it I Don't Like Sundays. It's, Who sings I Don't Like Mondays? Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why. Is it Bob uh, Geldof? Uh, no, rat, 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 something. Rat, rat. <laughs> Stop saying rat. <laughs> Who's rat? Rat, 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 rat. Stop rat. saying rat. It was oh, Bob Geldof. That, that, that old, there was a... Uh, of, Comedian who said, There you go. Yeah, there was, a, there was a comedian that said that Bob Geldof's been living off that song for the last 50 years. That, that's Tom's banter. He's just been, he's just gonna go on and on and on. He's like, uh, you know, when you see a gang and there's that guy at the front who's really big and menacing, he's like, Fucking give me your lunch money, mate. And then his mate behind him's like, Yeah, or he's gonna eat you. That's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tom, well, back, Tom, back in his Gatlin days, he was always his friend used to take the the mic, and he used to be the person repeating the the, the words on the second verse or whatever it was. Uh, Big L got down a well, and Tom's like, <laughs> down, down a well. <laughs> oh. Even when Tom was rap battling, he'd sort of walk behind his mates, and there's this geezer at the front who's like proper fucking on, and he's like, "Yeah, we got our best battle," and Tom comes out. Gatlin, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no pre-written shit, mate. You got to make it up on the spot. <laughs> like, like I hadn't previously written down Big L blowjob down a well. <laughs> if anyone hasn't seen Gatlin versus Bullets, by the way, 
<laughs> By the way, rest in peace, Big L. Thank you. <laughs> pour, pour, pour a drink for your homie. <laughs> he is actually dead, Chris. Is he? Yeah. He, he oh, did. Yeah, I bet you feel like a right cunt now. I thought Big L. <laughs> I thought Big, I thought Big L was Tom. I thought he was standing for Big Larder. <laughs> or just Big Lard. <laughs> we called the we called the yeah we called the fridge at school. Oh, Is you picking full of food? I was called the fat cook at school. <laughs> Come on, fridge, just go down the pub, mate. Oh, we can't get served. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I, I I have this uh, idea here, and it's like a picture drawn in crayon that says Tom is fifteen. I mean, there's there's crossed out. It says I mean eighteen. <laughs> it's just like. Here we go, sir. <laughs> this is my identification. And he's like, oh, blood. Oh, blood. They didn't serve me, so I had to knock him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked through the door. Oh, and the just down there. Gun, it? And went blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm going to make they... like cunts now. Oh, don't. <laughs> Let's talk about, without a smile on my face, death in vaping. Oh God! Here we go. <sighs> Tom, it was the first thing you did. You did when you heard that someone had died from this mech explosion. Check and Have see if it was an endless. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing. The first thing I did. Rick, was check Rick, Rick, yeah. Let's just go back to what Rick says. Let's not avoid this. Let's not avoid. What Rick <laughs> I've tried to avoid this. <laughs> let's not avoid what Rick said. Let's just not. <laughs> No, no. Obviously, obviously, it's very, very sad that someone died. Um, we don't know the full ins and outs. We only know a little story. Uh, do you know what really pissed me off about this story? Is the Sun newspaper and every single one with a stock image. We use a fucking cigarette. Like. Yeah. See, the That's thing what... is, sorry. The thing is, the first thing I did bit. was what? I think my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Rick, you might have to refresh, mate. <laughs> yeah, they had. They had uh, I forgot what I'm fucking say now, you tosser. About what the, the fuck was I even on about? Oh yeah, the first thing I did was Google and see if see what hardware he was using. Did I was you like, know what? I'll see what hardware he was using. I said, please don't be a Pandora. You, you were sat there going. This like could, I genuinely, I genuinely this could, did. This could mean sales for the Pandora. No such thing as bad exposure or bad marketing. Fuck off. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely thought, I hope this isn't the Pandora. Can are, they imagine prone, are they prone for doing that then? Never. But oh, can, you imagine, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine how uh, yeah. how bad you'd feel if you knew that you were the cause of someone's death? Even if it was like a problem with the battery or a problem with the, the mod. Do you know what I mean? I'd still feel incredibly... Shit. <coughs> I've just sent you both a link. Well, I've sent you actually both PDF files. I was say it doesn't that, open, but it's a PDF at the bottom. The PDF file, if you can get it open, is the autopsy results to the guy that passed. Right. All right. I did uh I did see it, it was um Fucking okay, hell, is this the whole thing? Yeah, there's two there's two right you talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so it looks like he died due to the um the the, the whatever went in his head. It, it, says, says, it, it does say head damage, but obviously yeah, but the fire no, in his place. No, number three says no soot within airways, which would say he wasn't breathing at the time the fire got out of control and Yeah. I'm still reading, sorry. I wish you said this before. Yes, yeah, so do I. I wouldn't have done my wank joke then. No, you wouldn't have. That's quite sad. It's quite sad. How old are you? 38 years old, dude. There's no years to die. So. Um, I, I mean, to be honest, uh, obviously it's it's very tragic. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and no one wants to be in that situation. And we don't, we don't want that situation... To come to light in vaping, we don't know what's wrong with the cigarette, whether he had torn battery wraps or anything like that. Um, but and I, I don't mean this as a flippant comment, 
But that's only one known recorded death through vaping. That's exactly the point I was going to come to, if I'm honest, Rick, because how many people die, not necessarily just from cancer, but house fires because of cigarettes being when they're falling asleep and it dropped down the couch. You know what I mean? Yeah. How many deaths actually come about through cigarettes? It's not, it's, not, it's not an excusable comment either. I'm not, I'm not trying to make an excuse yeah, or, no, course, or compare the two, but... Of course, but how many times in the news do you see people talking about house fires due to cigarettes? None. Zero. Zilch. And is that because it's a common thing and nobody seems to give a fuck, or is it because the news outlet wants to put, bring a negativity to vaping? Vaping's very much in the forefront, isn't it? I mean, to be honest, they'll find a way of criminalising anything. Like, science, science has proven that no one has died from smoking cannabis. But I can guarantee some idiot's choked to death on a bud, or someone's tripped over a bag, a big bag of weed, and broke their ankle, fell down the stairs, and killed. They died. Do you know what I mean? I reckon there's going there's gonna have been people, ways people have died surrounding um, cannabis, despite the fact that smoking it has never killed anyone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it goes there that, like that, Chris. Once it's without sort of going into sort of the side of weed, weed is a personal drug, and if you're in a bad mood and you smoke weed, you're going to end up doing some daft. So you're going to end up going to do something. There's smoking weed. Yeah, um, exactly. See, the thing is, right? Um, I'm not going to say who, but someone that I know um, has recently been in hospital a few times, and um, the last diagnosis was. Um, He's got a condition where he's smoked too much weed and it's having a negative psychoactive effect on him. Yeah. On his mental health. Sorry? On his mental health. It's yeah, it's it and it well, they're saying it was the uh or it is the marijuana. He does smoke a lot of it though. Um it may very well be. There's lots of things out there that you know what I mean, personally can change people and whatnot, but I think this sort of, once again, it goes back to us not knowing the full story. You don't yeah, forget it. Anybody will probably know the full story because... I'm just saying, anything is dangerous in the right hands. Do you know what I mean? I bet no one's died from having holding a piece of paper, but I bet people have been killed by, like, shelves full of reams of paper breaking yeah. and then being or crushed or... Driving a car. Yeah, exactly. The chances of you having a fatal car crash like one in a hundred million but those odds don't mean it doesn't happen every day yeah do you know what uh, I, mean? I think it's higher than a hundred one in a hundred no, million do you know what i mean <laughs> do you know what i mean no it was just an example though do you know what i mean like yeah. the, the risk of dying in an airplane is lower than the risk of being eaten by a shark but people Swim, uh, fly all the time. They don't go swimming with sharks every day, do they? How many times have you swum in waters with shark infested waters without a cage? Loads <laughs> down, in, down in pool. They've got nurse sharks, tiger sharks, um, little uh, close enough to the shore for them to eat you. Dogfish, sharks, dogfish, smooth hounds. Dogs. They're, yeah, they're related to the shark family, taupe. Loads of them. Do you think yeah, it has a negative pull on the general public, them sort of articles? Um, to, be, to be honest, I had it questioned twice. <clears throat> out of out of the three customers that walked in the door between the past two weeks, I had it twice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> two and a half. One of them was the same bloke twice. No, one, one question twice. One of them stopped me when I was going into work. I was at the co-op, and he said, "Ah, oh, he said, he said, Rick. No, actually, he said, vaping man. He didn't say Rick. He said, vaping man. Brilliant. <laughs> he said, right. Annie. Yeah. Annie. <laughs> <laughs> the sun will come out. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the forecast for tomorrow, Annie? <laughs> and he did question it for his wife because his wife was concerned, and I had to explain that the picture that they pick, um, the stock image, isn't it was definitely not the ones I sell in my shop. You, he was using, um, and uh, and then I had. I think I've told more people about the article than uh, than I've been asked. Anyway, put it that way. 
Yeah, I don't own a vape shop, but a lot of people that ask me about vaping related stuff in the area, and no one's mentioned it. I think it came on the news while I was sitting with a couple of people, and they're like, I thought you said they weren't dangerous. I'm like, they're not. And I explained what was the probable cause and what could happen with X, Y, and Z. And they said, uh, It goes back to being the vapors being the fucking problem. Because it's vapors who share it, it's vapors who speak about yes. it, it's vapors who give that information out but, there. But also, when you're giving that information out there, and you're able to have a conversation about it, you can correct people, you can explain what could have happened or whatever. Like, when you're just sharing a post, they're only going to see one side of it. What the fuck is Rick waving at? Is that a oh, it's, get, it's getting cold up here. I'm just clearing the uh, the webcam. <laughs> I scrape. Um, you're right. I didn't I'm share it. The someone's coming out tomorrow. I'm a huge advocate of not sharing shit. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a catch twenty two because you don't share it, you're a cunt. You do share it, you're a cunt. Well, no, I don't necessarily think you're a cunt if you don't share it. I, I can quite oh. happily not share the fact that I knocked one out last night. But what you do? Yeah, there's a lot of things that you don't need to share. Um, but you know, it doesn't necessarily. It's not like you're raising awareness. Exactly. Of a possible issue. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of things that you don't need to share, like Chris's Pandora. No, <laughs> to be honest, it's good, flavoursome, lovely. Twenty five mil though, twenty five mil. I don't think I own a twenty five mil device anymore. Anymore. It's anymore. Out, it's, out, it's outdated, just like your haircut. <laughs> Says you. I oh, know. We've practically got no, the same haircut. What, what's that little bit? What's that? <laughs> Oh, I got I got straight out of the shower. It's not done. Okay, Don't tell me you got the same haircut. Have, you, yeah. Yours goes significantly further back than mine. Yeah, I've got a big shiny head now. But I mean you could you can afford uh you can afford hair transplants with what Big Daddy Warbucks is pulling in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one. I don't need one. I'm I'm of good genes. Good genes? So lads, let's things. get back to the death subject. No, that's not. No, I want. I just want one death last. Death is question. sad, Thomas. One last, one last question, and this oh. is gospel honest. Do people? Do right. people really care? Do people, do people really care really about, care? about this guy that died? Or do you think? Do you think people in the vaping scene? Do you think they really give a fuck about what the situation was? Because it didn't seem to last on Facebook longer than five minutes. The thing is, Tom, people don't tend to go on about the same depressing shit over and over again. Unless it's a song from Annie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but do you know what I mean, though? People people, people want to be happy. People want to have a laugh. They want to be in a good mood. <laughs> no, do you know what I mean, No, But in, in life, people want to be happy. You'd much rather watch a funny video. Well, unless you're a psycho. You'd much rather want to watch a funny video than a snuff movie. Do you know what I mean? People, no, I, I get you. I get you. It, 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 it's sad, and I feel really bad for the guy's family. It's terrible for them, but I actually think it's it's inevitable. Something was going to happen because the odds are not infinite. Do you know what I mean? There's, do you know, there's, there's. I watched a program last night. It's on Netflix. It's just been added. Doomsday Preppers. You seen this? Seen this? You heard of this? No, it's these mad know. people in America that believe that some sort of catastrophic, world-changing disaster is going to happen, and they they're creating fortified bunkers in, underneath their houses and shit, and they're stock, stockpiling food, um, and they're making their own generators, and they've got their own Faraday cages. Pretty, pretty much what, what Tom's done, but without the bunker and the Faraday cages and. Not just stored food. Just stored pile of food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking wish I ain't got bread in my house. <laughs> you haven't got bread? No, he's no, got to you should push for pay rise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, all be, it's all been clear to people you've actually done some work for once. Um, <laughs> like, it's doomsday preppers. They, they were showing um, 
how well people were prepared for this specific disaster they thought was going to occur. Some thought it was going to be a solar flare EMP. Some thought it was going to be a financial collapse. Anyway, they um, then they then told you the probability of the what they want, what they think is going to happen, happening. Um, and actually, some of the odds were insane. Like there's there's a chance it, every every year there's a one in 50 chance that a nine on the Richter scale earthquake will hit a certain part of America. One in 50 chance that every year this 50, this, this nine on the Richter scale could hit this part of America. That is an insanely low odd. Do you know what I mean? I've put bets on with, with worse odds than that. And they pulled through. Do you know what I mean? The fact of the matter is that the, the chance of that earthquake happening is a one in 50 every year. The same, the same way, the chance of a battery blowing up and killing someone is probably a lot, a lot more likely to occur than we've seen. You got to think the amount of people you've seen using a battery with a dodgy wrap, or you've seen chuck batteries in a pocket with keys, or you've given free batteries or free battery wraps to as customers to prevent them from killing themselves with these stupid batteries. Now you think uh, us, it was something the other day I, I, I watched again, something weird. They said, uh, if you think of life like this, right? Imagine how many times you've been a millisecond away from a life changing event and it's been prevented. Does that, does that make sense? You yeah. must've been, you could have been close. Like you could have been, a millisecond away from inventing something that could have made you a billionaire. You could be a millisecond away from being hit by a car about a million times. And you'd never know because obviously it, the chances of it happening are so long. You've narrowly, narrowly missed it. Do you know what I mean? So anything could happen. Someone could have choked on a mech rod and died. Someone could have got one stuck in their ass and they could have died. It was a matter of time before it happened. It uh, happened. Tom was a three to one on that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's sort of the the in, obviously the increase in vapors, the increase of obviously purchase of external batteries, the increase of fucking too many cheap increases the odds. Increases the odds. I, get, I, get I do get what you're saying, hundred percent, and I agree, I agree with it a lot. And I mean, a mech mod exploding in Tom's ass has got you know a, a six thousand percent more chance of it happening than it exploding in one of mine or Rick's asses. That's only due to the frequency of which you use yeah. your day. Tom puts it in his ass 6,000 times a day. Whereas me and we Chris do it once. Well, yeah. I do it once and keep it up, though, though. Have you whittled Belladonna's fist down to the size of a pencil yet? <laughs> <laughs> you want it down. So it's like a stick of rock. You know, when you suck a stick of rock, it goes pointy at the end. <laughs> Have you still got that fist, Tom? Yeah, <laughs> inside him, <laughs> got lunch. <lunged in. laughs> I'm currently sat on it. It's just at the top of my chest there. Like it actually looks like glass. That's how it looks. Oh dear. Yeah, it is. And it uh, was, it wasn't one point on my mum and dad's bookshelf. I think it's in their garage. <laughs> yeah, that's where your that's where your parents tell you they keep it. No, I actually found it the other day. It is in their garage. <laughs> in, in their bedroom like, drawer. Good time. <laughs> It was in it was in their bedside cabinet. You could use it as one of those prank hands. What's you could shut there? the door shut the door on it so it's sticking out so it looks like um someone trapped their hand in the door. Oh, you should cut a hole in the bottom of the Halloween candy basket. Hello. Or Tom, you can stick out me a sleeve and, and pretend to shake someone's hand in it. <laughs> oh, oh, See, my favourite possibilities thing, are endless. When, when when meeting someone for the first time is to do the limp handshake, I think there's nothing funnier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're manly and you just go limp when you shake it. I think there's nothing funnier than that. But but using yeah. using uh Belladonna. Yeah. Might be, might be somewhat a bridge too far. <laughs> well, we've asked uh, 
Nick, this question before, Craig. How long has she gone for, really, to be honest, Tom? 20, oh, 20, minutes. 20 minutes left. Fuck me, you didn't tell me it goes on till 10. I've got some more content for you. Um, for earlier, Daniel tried to, to take the piss out of me. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad. I messaged him saying, please make sure that that, that come across the right way. And he's like, no, I thought it was funny. So I'm going to take that as a green light to mention it on here. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. That was a joke. I just wondered if you saw it. Oh, no. AF, AF didn't arrive today. So if it doesn't arrive tomorrow, Tom, then uh, well, I will. Uh, yeah. Double bubble, in it? Double bubble. I want to know what the status was. See, that's, a, that's how much Tom works. I want to know what the status was. Look on my profile, you bellend. Oh, the status, the status, yeah, sorry. I thought it the status of the order. I'm like, well, you work for them. Yeah, you should know. You promised it me three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest, we um, we did have one juice line in, um, and we completely swapped out for one of ours, and it's it's uh, mouth to lung, so you're talking Dubang. about... You're talking about 25 flavors. No, I wish. The bang's a lot better than this. Um, it's like 25, 30 flavors across the three strips. Down to Alphabet. Alphabet, where you can buy juice that the bang is 20 times better than. Um, no, no. The bang's 20 times better than this juice. That's uh, what I'm saying. But the delivery, the delivery, <laughs> basically, we ordered it. Um, the initial order, it took about a week. The second order took about a week. And the third order took about a week after me speaking to the rep and rep saying, look, if it doesn't improve, I'll buy it or back off of you. Um, so last week, we just ordered our original juice that we had in, and I ripped it all off the shelves, chucked it into boxes, and I'm just waiting for the uh, the rep to come in so he can purchase it back off of me. Oh, nice. What brand was it? I, I'm not going to mention it. Um, but it's shite. <laughs> Mention it. Go on. No, um, I will do. If he doesn't play ball, then obviously I will. Oh, I'm just, so I'm just that status. I felt bad. What after that status? After yeah, after I commented on it. It was. Um, you walked into it. To be fair. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, actually. Uh, so I've asked Rick this question before, and Rick is the master of this question because I fumbled him last time and he fucking got out of it, the lucky bastard. Mm -hmm. Okay, the question is, do aliens, do flat turn, does fucking pre-made different rat coils make any difference to round wire? <laughs> that, what do you mean, does it make any difference? Is there a difference in flavour? Is there a difference in vape? Do you think round wire works exactly the same as a Clapton would, or do you think physically fancy coils, fancy coils actually mean something? Well, physically, they do exactly the same thing. They they heat up when the battery puts the voltage through. Physically, they do exactly the same thing. I think personally, it depends on the build. It depends who fucking made it. It depends on whether it's shit or not. I think you can get an enjoyable vape out of either. I think it, it can cover more surface area. It can produce more vapor, but it depends on what you're trying to achieve. What makes, what defines a better vape? Like the, best, the best vape I've had, ever had is with a, a, B, a Spy BVC coils in a, uh, a 1.8 ohms in a billet box. It's the best vape I've had. I've, I've had. I've vaped the same thing, same same brand of juice, and the same device with the same coils for the last year and a half. But I also think that when I designed the Pandora, I thought that was the best vape I'd ever had. Genuinely Why, um, thought that when I when I when I tried a plastic, I thought that was the best box model I've ever used. Have, I think it depends on what you believe and when you when you feel it. Have you? Um, well, a lot of it could be placebo effect as well, right? Absolutely. If you've paid 28 quid for a set of fucking coils, you're going to think these taste <laughs> gonna amazing. Gonna they, this, this is the best vape I've ever had. It's just Why? like when you get a free Pandora, it's going to be the best RDA you've ever had. <laughs> Before I even sent you one, you said that. So you suck yeah, uh, you, did, you did let me suck on it. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Probably something. Yeah. You're right. 
Yeah, we already right. know what the weather forecast is for tomorrow, Rick. I don't even know what I can't remember what I was going to say. It was hugely important, though. I mean, the thing is, we all progress, don't we, through vaping? So I used to only vape mouth to lung, and then I discovered lung hits and juice that I really liked, and the mods that I really liked, and a scene that I really liked. So mech mods and, and clouds were my thing. But then I've progressed again. So now this is what I currently feel is the best thing that I've used. So that's you probably have. Way. But have you tried the 0.7 Nautilus coils? That's what I was going to say. No, because it's not an Nautilus coil. It's a Aspire BVC coil. Oh, the BVC one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You can get an Nautilus bridge, can't you? You can do. But the thing is, I think it floods too easily. Once you leave it sitting there on a warm day, once the juice viscosity thins up, it, it just floods itself. Uh, I don't know. I've never had issues with mine. But I suppose it's because you're using a bridge right rather than a tank that's specifically designed for it. I know, I know a bridge yeah. is specifically designed for it, but... Yeah. But like <clears> this, <throat> I, I've had... I get an incredible mouth-to-lung vape on it. The flavour's incredible. It satisfies my vaping needs. <sighs> you know... It is what it is. I don't, I've not had a better mouth to lung than that, though. I've not tried that yet. Going back to what you said, though, about advancing, Chris, mm. you know, I think a lot of us have taken a step back rather than advancing. Absolutely. I took a step back uh, a long time before a lot of my friends did. But I was forced to. I don't think I've ever done it if I wasn't in the situation I was in. Because I was in a hospital for a while and I couldn't vape a series build in hospital because I couldn't go out. So I had a little stealth vape. I bought a, um, I bought a little jewel to use in the hospital. And that got me hooked on Nick salts. So. I, I mean, I've got backwards as well. Ever since the Nautilus two come out, I've gone backwards. You've been that a while, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, since, um, since we opened the shop, so it's just after the Nautilus 2 came out, I think. Since we opened the shop April last year, um, I've solely been Nautilus 2, and then obviously a little bit of sub in the shop and stuff like that. But now, very, very rarely, unless I'm squonking, very, very rarely sub -ohm. Like, think, not, not sub -ohm, but cloud, you know? Yeah. I think, I I mean, think I th part of the people that the hardcore mech users will always use mechs. People who sort of like the regulated device with a sub -ohm tank will always use that. I just feel that sort of we still use it as fun. It's not necessarily to keep us off the fags. I think we've all moved to sort of mouth to mouth to keep ourselves off fags, but we still enjoy the sub -ohm side as a bit of fun and flavour. Because you can't, I'm sorry, but you can't beat flavour on an idea that you can bleed in a fucking tank. I'm sorry, you can't. No, you can't. You can't. Yeah, so I, mean, I sort of feel like people are using it more as a. I pick up my mech, and I, I'm honest, I use my mouth along daily. I pick up my mech when I want to have a better flavour, when I want to have some clouds and just have a bit of fun doing doing some building. I, I, not very often I build, but when I've got the need, I feel like I want to build. I'll get my mech out, do a build on my idea, then I'll get a juice that I know that's going to be absolutely flavoursome. And just that sort of means the fun side of it with using an idea. And as I say, you get people that use. Ideas and regulated and mechs day in day out, but sort of the guys of our time in vaping from where we've been, it's sort of we've travelled back in time and gone back to Martha London and then yeah. used that style for fun. When I think when when you spend all day in a shop and pretty much all the customers, well, it's fifty percent of the customers sub home and they sit in there for a little while and they're blowing clouds and stuff. You tend to get tired of it. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I think it takes the right device to reignite your passion. Um, mm. When the Emmy came out, I really wanted one. Just was refusing to pay for vape gear anymore, and Tom didn't send me one, and Paul didn't send me one. <laughs> um, so I stuck to my guns and didn't buy one. Uh, not because I didn't want to, but because I just don't have the budget for vape gear at the minute. Um, and then this prototype came, and I'm really back into it. I, I actually really, and it, re, it gives you a chance to relive all the juices that you love as well that aren't compatible with how you vape now. Like this stuff, 
Maybe the guys at PJ Bros. I fucking love this stuff, but I've not vaped it for ages because I've been using the same 45 milligram Nick salts. And, um, you know, I'm reliving that now and I love it. I do think, I mean, I've seen a surge of people using 22 mil tubes and going back to 22 mil tanks and, and stuff like that. I think it's a good thing. I think, I think. For myself personally, and to be, I've seen quite a lot of mesh builds now. People are starting to build mesh on regular RDAs rather than Jennies and stuff like that. I've seen quite a few of that coming up, popping up yep. this week. I saw a new mesh RDA the other day, but in the sense of the mesh by um, Vandivate. Vandivate, that sort of mesh. Um, they had a, um, well, it was like vertical posts, a bit like the velocity, but with clamps in it, and you could put a ring of it. A ring of that mesh shit around it. You could have dual coil, single coil, put the cotton in the middle and had airflow all from the outside. I thought that was pretty different. I thought that was pretty cool. It's not mesh in the same sense, but it, it's... It was I know, I'm, I'm actually seeing people try trying to build like slugs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Do you not mesh people going sense. back to what we used to do, but with better technology and more yeah, knowledge? Yeah, exactly that, actually. You've just nailed it. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, you're right. You're going back to the to the days where it worked, and it was simple. Um, but like like you said, you've got a better technology to to deliver it, and, and better liquids with with like Nick salts and stuff like that. Yeah, I think people have got a better idea as well of what they're actually doing now as well. When I was on uh, mouth to lung the first time around, I was using fucking I breathe and e shisha. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That juice was terrible and you'd look at it now and it makes you cringe to think you thought that was good the amount of customers we get with sub own tanks on i breathe stuff said it's leaking and you're like oh, it's not leaking it's just your juice is too thin <laughs> yeah then it goes I mean? back to education doesn't it the education is still even though it's such a big industry and there's people out there that know shit the education is still shocking. It's it's the education from the supermarkets they'll buy it they'll buy a device off Amazon they'll buy any juice that they can get as cheaply as possible. Quid a bottle, I think, I agree this or something. Um, and, and then they come in wondering why it's not working. But me, yeah. Iceland are selling fucking e-cigs now. I saw that the other day, actually, when I was getting that multi-pack of juice. Iceland, but the thing is, they've not got them behind the counter. They've just got them in the fucking walkways. They've got in, they've got it set up like Poundland. You know, they've got that little at the end of the aisle, they've got like a yeah. little cabinet, they've got like a little rack that's got it in. Yep. But that's I mean, for me, that's that's the scariest thing for me though, because they're not getting an education on how the device works, what liquids, what the liquids do, and and stuff like that, and, and how to set up the device. So they could, and I've said this multiple times, so they could potentially try it, fuck it up, and then think that's how it works. And, oh, vaping's not for me. That's that's a potential. I know loads of people that say, I've tried giving up vape, I've given up smoking, I've tried vaping, and it's terrible. I'm like, what did you use? And they, they show me or they tell me, and I'm like, that's why. It's a, yeah, but that's a potential. If they don't have that conversation with someone else, that's a potential non-smoker gone. But the worrying thing is, though, fellas, is they can go in Iceland and pick it up, or they can go into an actual vape shop that don't know fuck all either. Yeah, well, that's a completely different subject altogether. <laughs> you know, you've got that accent, um, access. Um, access. I'm fucking fumbling my words here. You've got that way of actually purchasing it without actually going into a niche store because that you, as you lot know, there is some stores out there people won't go in because it's flooded with vape and it's intimidating. So then they end up going into a supermarket, into a high street store, buying it, and then as you say, it's sort of like fuck that. If this is what vaping is, I don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, I mean, there is, and then that's that's one of the pros of being a, a pretty much a mouse along now, as you don't get that in your shops. But I mean, we pretty much insist. I say pretty much. There are a few customers that obviously know what they're doing, but we pretty much insist that we set the device up for them, get them started, um, and that they actually wait for the juice to saturate in the course so they can have their first vape. In the shop, because you know, if you've gone from smoking to vaping, you're going to cough, right? So it's it's almost like reassuring them that the cough will go away and and, and stuff like that, and they can see the device is working. 
yeah <laughs> but they <laughs> they can they can see the devices working we can see the devices working yeah. and then you know well like i was saying to someone in chat my local my local shop is scott vapes and um they, they do the same huh yeah he does yeah good they they uh they do the same thing they make sure that the person who's using the device is set up and ready to go that they they're, they're really actually quite good like that but then there's other shops that are local i don't want to name any names but i've gone in there and they've not known what the devices are mm. but that's that's the thing you're going to get with supermarkets as well yeah because who's going to, the person behind the kiosk counter he's not going to have a fucking clue about vaping whether if they're a, if they're a vapor then maybe but 100 percent of the time it's somebody that's just works in the supermarket and just serves lottery seat kits and sinks they're not going to know what the fucking device is. They're just going to hand it over. Well, what does it do? Well, I fucking know. It's just a product on the show. Which is why I still think, I mean, all right, you can go on YouTube. You can find out about these devices. But how many people that don't know there's a community out there of, of vaping will look for a community? Oh. You, you, you're talking Facebook-wise. You're talking there's got to be, what, 30,000 people on Facebook that actually know about vaping in the UK. Not well in the UK. Probably about 30,000 people. Remember, you've got big groups have got, what, fifteen to 20,000 people in them. We're in every fucking group. Let's be realistic. There's the same people in the group, whether it's got 5,000 or 20,000. So you're looking at about 30,000 people on Facebook alone and that look at Facebook groups. Well, if the stats for, two, for five fucking years ago, 2.2 2 million vapors in the UK, well, fuck all look at Facebook. There's a community out there for it. I mean, the, thing is, the, way, the way I explain vaping to a lot of people is they're like, so you buy all this stuff and you do all this shit. And I'm like, yeah. They're like, is there a market for it? And I'm like, are you mental? <laughs> so that, do you know what I mean? The industry is massive, but until you're involved in it, like whether it be through vape shops, whether it be through online communities, whether it be through any other way, until you're actually involved in the industry, you're not going to know what the fuck's in it. The same with any industry. Do you know what I mean? Mm. The fact of the matter is that, that people will look at anything weird until they're involved in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, how many magicians do you know? Like, actual magicians? I'm, I'm one. You are. You are a very magical person. I, but I'm a magician. Yeah, but in all seriousness, though, I am. I am literally. Do you want me to? I'll do a card trick right now. Go on. Then. Are you in the magic circle? I'm not he in the magic can... circle because that's fraud. Although he's lost a bit of weight, so he is. He is. Uh, he's almost able to fit now. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. Show me. Show us a trick, then, Rick. I haven't picked up my cards in a long time. And Pick you have up, to pay to be in the magic circle, don't you? You do, yeah. Not me, I'm too good. They said you're, you're too good, so um, so yeah, you don't have to pay, right? Right, all right, dynamite, right? Here we go, here we go, right? I'm gonna hold it up to the cam, right? I'm gonna get you to pick a card and I'm gonna tell you what that card is. Oh, I can't, I can't see them, so so just, just oh, fuck. hang on, right? Right, there we go, I can't see, so so. Tell me to point Stop. to one, right there. Oh, that'll do. Oh, actually, no, that's probably probably a better way. I'll riffle through them, and you tell me when to stop. Right? You ready? Yeah, but you'll be able to see on your screen your bell end. No, no, no. I'll riffle through. Right? Just tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there. Right. I pull this card. I'm going to tell you what's on this card. Right? I've got right. one card there. Yeah. I'm not looking. You lying <laughs> bastard! He's got a mirror on it. I know. He's got a mirror on that scraper. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Yeah. I bet this card is blank. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like <laughs> every fucking card. <laughs> I, I got a deck of blank cards for, for magic, mate. <laughs> do you actually do magic? I, I I do some card tricks here. Do you want to see something? I'll send you. I'll send you a picture. I've Please. seen your collection. No one's interested. In collection in what? He's got card collection. Chris, do you do magic as well? I do, mate. Well, can you both puff and fucking disappear? <laughs> I will do in about four minutes. Two. Two minutes. Two. Um, yeah, they... Uh, 
What was I fucking saying? I've got no idea. Oh, yeah. Magicians. Like, how many people do you know that are magicians? I know one that's an actual professional one. magician. Yeah, I know, I know one. I know and the one. fact of the matter is, there's millions out there. There's millions of tricks that we've never seen. And every time we see one, we're really impressed. And the fact of the matter is, if you haven't seen it or you don't know how it's done, it impresses you. There'll be a million and a half thousand tricks, but you'll probably know about 12 of them. That was yeah. relevant to something, but I can't remember what. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Uh, a couple of questions for you. Um, events coming up. Obviously, we have got um, Collective, Vape Fest, and uh, the October Expo, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Are there three left in the calendar? Are you guys attending any? Fest. I think I'm... Yeah, I think I'm going to do the same. I, I was going to go only, only go to Expo, but then uh, me and Paul are working on some magic, so we'll probably end up having to go to the October one, <laughs> even though I wasn't going to. I'm actually going to try to get to all three. Oh, you're right, though. There is a, there is a mirror on the ice scraper as well. Yeah, I thought so. Did you get your car sorted? Who? That, you, that bloke owed you money. Oh no, that was ages ago. Yeah, did yeah, you get no. the money? That's quite a car collection. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't pursue it in the end because I went to the court, and um, they 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 said they could do without, but they really needed his full details. So I I done some internet searching, found his full details, found out he was a football coach for uh, under 15s or whatever it was, and I found his full name, um, and I just decided to bite the bullet and I drove it till October. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So you didn't even actually confront him about it, like, and get your money? Oh, no, we, we, we were speaking over, over text, and he phoned me, asked him to sort it out. I think he actually got quite worried about it, to be honest. Um, now I've got so a you were bullying a poor football coach? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're so mean. How is so, a boy racer? I've got a new car now. I've got a boy racer car. What have you got? Focus. Uh, ST. ZT no, no, not an ST. A ZTEC ST. <laughs> Two litre petrol. Oh, nice. I cleaned my car with today. A body kit on it. <laughs> with uh, no, it's actually um the the ZTEC S body kit on it, but it's got a different different spoiler. And it needs a spoiler because it, it hooms. Are you gonna get alpha vape written on the side and make it tax deductible? No. <laughs> Why? That daddy Warbox won't let you. <laughs> you've gone you've gone a bit robotic. Oh, that's good. We're finishing now, anyway. Well, boys, it's one minute past ten. Um, Thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Chris, Chris sounds definitely like Robocop on acid. <laughs> on acid. <laughs> well, I want to thank you both for coming on. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, well, I know you're not really bothered, but I do appreciate you coming on. <laughs> Can you give a shit? <laughs> and helping me out for a giggle. Oh, uh, yeah, some Rick, crunching up corn There Ooh. is a few people in Scotland, so if you want to tell people where your shops are, where they can find you, Chris somewhere, Rick, somewhere on the central there. belt. You want to tell somewhere. people? No, no, it's going to be like a treasure hunt. Um, <laughs> can't hear, can't hear, Chris. <laughs> Chris, you've really gone really bad about it. You've gone really, really bad. Um, Den Denny, and Denny and Kilsyth. There you go. And soon to be another one. Um, hopefully. Fingers crossed if everything goes well. And the name of the shop? Is it working? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Annie's, saying... Annie's Retreat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, I, I designed the Pandora and I'm working on this with Paul, but I do not have a shop, so don't turn up at my house. <laughs> You can you can turn up at his house if you bring cake, cake, cake. I I've got the choice of crunchy nut cornflakes or some German meatballs. Ooh, which one? Crunchy nut cornflakes. I don't know because I'm starting to think I've got milk intolerance, uh, a lactose intolerance. What you've been shitting quite a lot of you. I I and yeah and and like runny ones. <laughs> But it's it's always in the morning, and I always have my breakfast before I go to bed, rather than when I wake up in the morning. Um, you have your breakfast before you go to bed. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? 
It's like a, it's like a late night snack, but I don't have breakfast in the morning, so it almost takes that 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 place. So, in other words, you skip breakfast, but you have an extra meal. <laughs> it well, that's not an, to be it's not an extra meal if you skip breakfast, is it? Well, it is an extra meal if it's meatballs. Yeah, but <laughs> that is <laughs> breakfast. You're a twenty a day man, so don't even start shit with me. Yeah, no, we're not talking about fruit or veg either. <laughs> in fact. One day at work, I decided, right, I'm going to go on a right fucking health kick. What did I get? I got half a cucumber. Um, thought that'd be nice to eat for lunch. Uh, what else? Other Oh, apples. But like five apples. I'm pretty sure five apples isn't good to eat in a day. Five apples. No wonder and, you're sitting. And half a cucumber. <laughs> this is a while ago. Um, so now I just eat 10 bags of crisps. See, I, yeah. Well, I went on a health kick, and I had, uh, I had, I made a salad up one day. I put lemongrass in it. Turns out I'm allergic to it. That's put me off salad. I'm just having uh, cheeseburgers. I know that I'm not allergic to them. You're, You're allergic not on to a health salad. kick. You have to put chips with your salad. I'm allergic to lemongrass, apparently, and I put that in my salad. But I, I don't trust anything green now. No, not even your bag for life behind you. <laughs> bag for life. Um, <laughs> Do you see the guy in Britain's Got Talent? There's a song about a bag for life. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty I really good. like that. Yeah. Now, this is a proper bag for life. You get yourself off to bed. Go get yeah. a crisp and go This get is a proper crisp. bag to life. This is what I brought all my novelty hats into the shed in. Uh, we're having a conversation, Tom. Do you mind uh, just, just keeping out a second? Yeah, sorry. I'll just, I'll just mute myself a moment. Good. Because we're having a conversation about fatherhood. Uh, yeah, it's very important, that. He, he's important. a dad. Is he though? Is he the dad? <laughs> wow! <Well, laughs> I don't know. I'd be surprised. Yeah. So how how is being a dad for you? It's all right. Yeah, it's quite good. I'm quite enjoying it. I don't get any of the shit. I just arrive home at six o'clock and I get an hour with Molly. And then um, you have your breakfast. And... <laughs> and I have my breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Watch a couple of Twitch streamers. Go on some live streams every now and then. Practice your card tricks with your blank cards. Practice my card tricks. Do you know what? I've got like roughly about pff, shop life. Shop life, you sit there for about six hours pretty much doing nothing or cleaning up or whatever. And I, I was well into it and I've just sort of stopped. So I need to get back into it. And I've I've made some really cool uh, gaff cards. You know gaff it, cards yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually saw one. Um, I wish I could name... Good night, everybody. Love you. Trick. 